Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we are going to construct a 3D model of turbine propeller in Autodesk Inventor software. So it is having three wings or three blades you can say. So let's get started with today's tutorial. Go to new, take a standard part in millimeter and go to create. Now, we will go to 2D sketch and select the exit plane, rotate the view. This will be the top plane. Now go to line command, from this center point make a line like this and ok. Now go to dimensions and give a horizontal dimension as 55 and the vertical as 20 ok now from here go to arc command and select this point and select this here and make an arc now go to dimensions from this end point to the end of the arc this will be 15 mm ok as you can see the arc is going outward so go to tangent select the arc and select the line now it will come inside the rectangle now escape select this line and select this vertical line and make it a construction geometry so go to here and select construction so these will be reference profiles now we want only this profile so go to line and we will join here escape now go to finish sketch <coughs> and go to revolve the profile is selected it will ask you the axis of rotation so this will be the axis of rotation and ok this is the center part now open the origin and you can select any plane select the top plane and go to create sketch we will select the exit plane now go to create sketch now we will uh, do one thing go to view from here change its view to wireframe so as you can work properly in sketching now go back to sketch and from here select the ellipse and select here and make an ellipse ok we want ellipse like this go to dimensions the dimension from this end and of the ellipse the center will be at 50 it is defined as it's picking this line reference now go to dimensions again the center point distance will be of 15 ok sorry 12 it will be 12 <coughs> and the vertical distance will be of 6 by default it will take the half distance now finish sketch rotate the view go to home now from exit plane we want to construct a new plane from here go to planes and select the offset from plane and give the distance as 30 mm ok now select this plane and go to create sketch now here also we will select the ellipse select the ellipse from same center point we will draw an ellipse ok now go to dimensions the dimension of ellipse this will be 6 mm 
and this will be same 12 mm okay now it is not defined so do one thing okay go to coincident select this line and select this center point of ellipse now it is constrained here now for angle go to line command okay here it is selecting this will be the point okay and here also make a straight line escape now as it's picking the point over here okay select this and select this line make it construction first escape now go to dimensions from here the angle will be 60 degree now you can see it is fully constrained sketch okay the dimension which need to be constrained is the reference line dimension so you can skip that without considering it now finish sketch now we have two sketches now we will make a new plane from reference of this plane go to plane go to offset from plane and select this plane now the distance from this plane will be 150 mm offset of 150 mm and ok now select the new plane and go to create sketch now from same center point we will construct one more ellipse from same point and okay this time like this okay now go to dimension so the center will be 2.5 and this dimension will be 9 mm okay now finish sketch and we'll construct the tip so for the tip go to plane once again and go to offset from plane and select this last plane and give a dimension 20 ok now select this plane go to create sketch here only make a point so go to project geometry and select this point profile and finish sketch now as all the profiles are been made we have made here first second third and fourth sketch so this is also a sketch the point sketch okay now go to loft command it will ask you the sketches over here or the sections which you want to loft select first and second and third and then this tip okay the point will always provide a tip in loft if you want to make another sketch also okay and go to ok now we'll go back to the solid view go to view from here change the view to shaded with edges okay now you can see the turbine blade okay this is the turbine blade which we have made now go to 3d model go to fillet and we will give a fillet of 5m okay and select this edge and okay now hide all the planes which we have made select this this and return so right click and go to turn off visibility ok we only want this profile now we will pattern this so go to circular pattern select this loft and select fillet 1 
now go to rotation axis and select this circular profile by default the count will be of 6 we want to give a count of 3 ok the angle will be 360 degree and ok ok so blade is made now we want to give a whole profile for assembly select this face and go to create sketch from here select the center point circle select the center point and make a circle of 20 ok go to finish sketch and go to extrude as it's extruding outwards we want to cut so go to cut and take a dimension of 25 ok we want to give a thread profile also here threading so go to thread and select this circular profile it will automatically made the thread you always have to display in model the thread and apply ok now it's complete almost complete now you can make it more realistic so we will give the color go to revolve and we will give a color as chrome polished ok this will be chrome polished and for this profiles select log fillet and circular pattern and go to here here we will select the blue blue wall painted glossy so this will be for this so this was a basic tutorial to how to construct a turbine blade or uh, you can say the propeller or turbine in Autodesk Inventor software. I hope you like the video. If you do that, please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos. Thank you.